Hey, what's up fam? Kentriarch here. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for tuning in once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the exotic quest Presage, as well as how to complete this without dying for the Solo Flawless Triumph. This is actually only my second time running this mission, so it is very doable. There are some jump puzzles and some screeves that can really mess this up and make it frustrating, but there's no time limit on this mission. Therefore, take your time, be cautious, and you will complete this. Now, before we get started, I sped up this gameplay, but I did not cut or skip through any of it. I want you to be able to see the whole thing so you know exactly what to do and what each section looks like. The first time, it can be somewhat difficult to find the switches, fuses, and the doors that then open up, especially if this guide skips around a lot. So I apologize for the length, but I think it helps more this way. As always, please help me out by tickling those like and subscribe buttons. It really does make a huge difference for me. Let's get to it. This is one of the more trickier jumps right off the bat, so you will want to take your time and get that jump down. Here is a mechanic you'll see throughout this mission. They are spores, when you shoot them right next to them, they will give you Irigor's link, and that'll allow you to pass through those doorways, which would otherwise kill you. Here are the screams that will pop up quite a bit. Uh, make sure you have your sound up so you can hear them coming. If they do hit you, they will most likely kill you. So just take your time with them, but they are pretty easy to take down.
So this part is basically reminiscent of Star Wars in the garbage compactor. Uh, to start this off, you will have to activate the switch. At that point in time, the walls will begin closing in, and a bunch of screams will appear. You need to take those down and then shoot three fuses that you can find in the floor. Once you shoot all three, it will stop the compactor from closing in, and then you will need to find another hidden uh, door in the floor as well. Now, if you don't manage to find all three fuses in time, go by the wall where you activated that switch, wait to the last possible second, and jump up in the air and stay up in the air as long as you can while that compactor closes in. Uh, you should be able to stay alive that way and then the walls will retreat and you can start that process over again. In this area, you will face one of the harder combatant fights during this mission. Come up in this upper level here, it is a lot safer. Uh, it will spawn screebs periodically that you'll need to take care of and watch out for, but basically you need to take down the chieftains in this area as well as the two abominations.
very important note, do not go down this hallway that I just shot at. When you reach the end of that hallway, there's a trap door that will instantly kill you. So if you go down that hallway, you will have to restart this whole thing over. You will notice that I'm being extremely cautious during this part. There are a bunch, uh, a couple of screeves in here, and it's kind of a tight puzzle space that it is very hard to see them coming. This next part is uh, another small jumping puzzle. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there is no time frame for this mission, so just take your time. As you can see, I missed that fuse before I tried to run through this jumping puzzle again. You basically have to get the Igor's link in the beginning, run through to that middle, get that Igor's link again that is behind that wall, and then go to the end. Now, yes, there is no time limit for the mission, as I said. However, you do only have the Igor link for so long. So in this part, you do kind of have to be a little bit speedy about it. Here is the final boss encounter. Heads up, as soon as you drop down, he will be there immediately. Do a little bit of damage to him and it will send him down below. Proceed to take care of the ads that then appear. And this will also include three chieftains. Once you defeat them, four more stalkers will appear. After that, you need to activate these terminals. There are a total of three that will flush the coolant uh, because down below there's actually a lot of heat. So in order to go down there to attack the boss, you need to activate those terminals. Now, you want to activate the one on the right side, the one on the left side, and then go activate the one in the middle. The room where that middle terminal is located is actually heated. So if you do the other two first and then go for that one, as soon as you activate that last terminal, it won't be heated anymore and it won't kill you. Now when you drop down, this is where Anarchy really shines. Because you can basically drop down, shoot him a couple times with it, and then jump back up to safety. He does a long range flame attack that can almost one shot you, and then if he gets close to you, he can slam you, and that will one shot you. 
you will notice that he has three sections in his health bar. Each time you do one of those sections, you will have to jump back up and repeat the process all over again by defeating those combatants and, and activating those terminals. You'll notice something changed here as of the second and last health section when you jump back up here there will be enemies that spawn so you also need to be careful about that Once he is taken down, there will be a marker that appears, follow that and you will have completed this mission. After you do this steel activation, Osiris will chat just a little bit and you will have to kind of hang out for a minute. Um, it does take a little bit for everything to complete, so just kind of hold tight and then you will receive the dead man's tail.
there you have it. Solo Flawless Presage Quest. As always, please help me out by tickling those like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, take care fam.